Hello and welcome back to another recipe. Today we're making vegan protein blondies. So we're going to be starting with 300 grams of cooked chickpeas without salt. These are from my batch cooking that I make almost every week. Then we're going to be adding one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And now we're going to have three bananas. So the bananas are for sweetness and they're also for texture because as we know from previous recipes, when we bake or heat up bananas and then we let them cool, they make this sort of gel. So this is one, what is going to be making this whole magical thing of making these three very simple ingredients into a blondie. So we have to mix that very well until we have some sort of hummus. And if we're very tired, we can really stop here and eat this by the spoonful because it's delicious. You will not even know this is chickpeas. So now we put it in a mold about 15 centimeters with some parchment paper and we add our chocolate chips. I'm using sugar-free chocolate coins because I really like the look because it really makes really nice servings of blondies. So we're going to be baking this at 175 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes or until when inserting a toothpick this comes out clean. And now we have to let it cook completely before we remove it from the mold and we cut it into little squares because this is a, has a really delicate texture and we need the bananas to really cool down so they can basically make this whole thing set. So now we have to basically dice it and that's it. It stays in the fridge for about uh, three to four days. It's a really great idea to add chickpeas and legumes and high protein snacks to your breakfast, to your snackies in the evening or in the morning or to your lunch or to your dessert. So I really hope you like this recipe and don't forget to subscribe and interact with my publication. So thank you so much. And let's go to the other version, the brownies. Now it's time for the brownies. So we're going to be starting again with 300 grams of chickpeas cooked without salt. And we add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And now for the cacao powder, we're going to be using 40 grams. However, some cacao powders might be too bitter. So if you have some Dutch cacao powder, it's better for this recipe because we're not using any sugar and the bananas might not be sweet enough to counteract the bitterness of the cacao powder. So just be wary that this could come out a bit bitter. And you can actually try the mixture. If it is bitter by the time you make this puree, it's not gonna get any sweeter in the oven, so you can fix it. So we're gonna put in a mold 15 centimeters, just like the brownies, I mean the blondies, with some parchment and we have to spread it out and for the nuts, I'm allergic to walnuts, so I'm always using hazelnuts or something else like almonds. Basically anything works, even peanuts work unbelievably nice with this recipe. So we're going to be baking this at 175 degrees for 25 minutes or until when inserting a toothpick, this comes out dry. And now we have to let it cool completely. Don't rush, this is what I did because I really wanted to try them and start filming and there were some people coming over and I wanted to share the brownies with them. So I was really rushing in this bit. Don't do that, otherwise it might break because we need the bananas to cool down so they stiffen up this whole thing. So now we cut it in squares and we can store it in an airtight container in the fridge for about five days. It's funny, with the cacao powder, it lasts even longer. So this is a great protein snack for breakfast, for dessert, or for snackies in between meals. So I hope you like this recipe. Enjoy. Bye.